Hey, it's Carl. So as we move into spring slash summer, I want to create or update an EDC video, mostly around thin and lightweight tech, just to shed the pounds as we uh, get a bit hotter and as the weather gets a bit warmer. So first off, this laptop is really cool. So this is the Asus ZenBook S13 OLED. This is one of the thinnest laptops that you can get, and it comes in at one kilogram or 2.2 pounds, making it one of the most portable laptops. It still has an OLED screen, so it still looks Absolutely gorgeous. This has been one of the best uh, laptops that I've traveled with just because of the form factor. And it still doesn't really sacrifice too much on the IO. You still have a fully usable USB-A, which takes up the entire kind of width of it. Headphone jack, full-size HDMI, and two USB-C ports, which I'm a big fan of, and obviously the full OLED display. So everything that uh, you know I've been watching on this, I've been crushing um, some Shogun. It's probably my show of choice uh, for the year so far. And uh, in terms of gaming, no AAA titles, but I am a sucker for MapleStory and obviously uh, using the full keyboard to access uh, all those keys. That's kind of my go-to and as I kind of manage emails uh, on this thing. So it is uh, great. This is rocking the latest architecture of Intel chipsets, the uh, Core Ultra 7. 16 gigs of RAM and a terabyte of space in this uh, really sweet form factor, like I said. I love what Asus is doing with their lineup. They're making things more uniform. The front of it is also pretty uh, scratch resistant. So uh, when I am traveling, this thing uh, kind of takes the beating, but still um, obviously performs. Super dope. So mice, if I really want to keep on the thin theme, I would obviously uh, say the Apple mouse or the Apple magic mouse. You can theoretically pair an Apple mouse with any Windows laptop if you want, but uh, you know, I'll be honest, it's not the best design. The ergonomics of it are terrible, but um, that's keeping to the thin theme. If you just want something super practical, 90 bucks. This is the Logitech MX Anywhere 3. Super versatile. I use it with this uh, all the time. So I'll leave that choice up to you. Do you want to go thin or do you want to go with something that actually works. Moving on to the day pack for the EDC. So everything other than the laptop that you just saw will fit into this. This is the Grams 28 uh, sling bag. It's not technically 28 grams, even though that name would coincide with the thin portable theme of this video. But why I'm a big fan of this, it's obviously big enough to store a lot of tech, but you can swap out the strap since it isn't technically integrated uh, or built in. I've just actually put my own custom orange leather strap since I'm a big fan of leather. And like I said, all the things that uh, I have kind of go inside. I really like the leather on the Grams 28 stuff. It's real Italian leather. It's nice and soft. It's like a premium product. And compared to uh, like nylon bags, leather is just easier to clean. You can just wipe dirt off. And on the inside, it's nice and uh, micro suede. They have different compartments for all the rest of your gear. It's a solid addition and they have different sizes to kind of fit your needs. But I find that this like mid-size one is kind of like the perfect size for an everyday carry, which is a uh, what this is. So first main device being a content creator, I always have um, a camera on me. So this is the thinnest uh, full frame camera that you can get. It's the Sony a7CR. If you want to uh, keep a bit more budget, you can check out the a7C2. Similar body, but the CR has the beast of a 61 megapixel uh, full frame sensor, which I'm a big fan of. So this is the 18 mil baddest. I've actually been looking at uh, a pancake lens for my Sony just to make it a bit thinner. I know there's a lot of fans of, uh, you know, the Fuji film, uh, the new one, but I've already invested heavily into Sony. This is full frame versus APS-C. Plus you can't even get um, an X100 Mark VI for retail if you wanted to. So that is kind of my Sony dilemma. I am a fan of the Fuji film though. I won't lie. I know there's a lot of hype around it, but uh, like I said, I'm already deep pockets into Team Sony. So smartphones, I've got some fun ones here, both on the thin side and actually both on different ends of uh, the budget. So this is the Honor Porsche V2 RSR. So this is the thinnest folding phone on the market. So if you actually take a look at this, this is actually the width of the USB-C jack. So fully open, this is like 4.9 millimeters, around five millimeters, and fully closed, it's 10 millimeters or just under. That's actually the same form factor as a regular, say like iPhone when it's fully shut, it's super thin. They actually have a bit of B-roll of this uh, when they put this on a piece of paper and it was floating in this like water tank. It was actually so light that it didn't sink to the bottom of the tank, which is absolutely next level. And if you're a Porsche fan, this is actually the same color. So this is agate gray as you can find on a 911. And there's a lot of other design cues like this uh, line that mimics the hood, like this uh, camera cutout, which actually mimics the front windscreen. A lot of cool Porsche elements, as you uh, know, I'm a big uh, Porsche fan as well. So I think uh, that is a pretty cool thin option. Pricey as hell. This thing is around like 3,500 bucks imported to like Canada or the US. You're looking at like $4,000. So it's absolutely 
premium level, almost like a Porsche. You're paying like that kind of Porsche price for a Porsche phone, which is nuts. The second option which I have is way more manageable and a bit of a soft spot for me. So this is just like the classic iPhone SE. I think this is a great secondary phone, a great burner phone, or if you're just on a budget and a big fan of the home button. There's just something so satisfying about pressing it, plus it also doubles as the touch ID. You don't have to look at the camera. It's nice, it's thin, it's usable, it's an iPhone, and uh, you know you don't have to pay $1,000 for it. You can definitely snag one on a cheaper deal. And both of these devices, like I said, oh, just started something, are razor thin. So moving on to some accessories. So instead of having a smartwatch, I actually went with like a classic. So this is just like a Casio G-Shock. It's cheap, it's affordable, it's lightweight. You don't need to break the bank. This is like $20, runs off of battery, keeps better time than a mechanical watch. You can get them in so many different styles. They're just uh, straight up dope and simple. And instead to actually kind of track your heart rate, track your steps, this is the Ultra Human Ring. So I've actually been using this a lot uh, as a smartwatch replacement. Way lighter, way smaller than a smartwatch as it kind of fits just onto your finger. Like I said, you can track all the great metrics. Obviously the trade-off is you don't have a little screen to watch anything, but on your smartphone, that's where you can kind of track uh, all that necessary data. I'm actually a big fan of these smart rings. I know that Samsung just uh, released theirs that should be coming out soon, but you've got this, the Aura Ring. I think these are just great alternatives uh, for fitness gear. So some more accessories, uh, obviously a charger to charge up all your devices. I actually love this uh, 35 watt one from the MacBook Air just because it has the two uh, slots on the bottom for USB-C, one for lightning so you can rock one obviously for the iPhone SE and USB-C pretty much uh, to charge everything else. Super handy, nice and thin. This next one is an ESR. Technically this is a power bank with MagSafe. None of the devices I actually have have that but it is a two-in-one power bank in the sense that you can actually put a little card in here, which I have here, which is just a tile card. It's a great air tag replacement and way thinner, the theme of the episode, as it can kind of just slot right into here. Plus, you can still charge your devices with that USB-C cable, so nice to have kind of a two-in-one combo. For all the content, this is a SanDisk SSD. It's a one terabyte option. It's one of the thinner ones that you can get. And what I actually like, it has this little rubber coating on the outside, just makes it a bit more durable, a bit more portable when you are uh, carrying this around. Last but not least, because on the laptop, uh, we don't really have any port options. This is just a thin little anchor SD card adapter. So you can see here, a full size SD card or a micro SD if you're shooting with something that uh, kind of fits that slot and obviously just plugs into the port via USB-C and it kind of actually matches the color. It's like that space gray metallic color. And once again, like 10 bucks on Amazon so you aren't breaking the bank uh, for any of these stuff. So those are super cool and obviously super portable. Last but not least, uh, if you are traveling, always recommend uh, carrying a Bluetooth speaker around just so you can kind of jam out to uh, any music. So this is the Marshall Willen speaker. I was with them at uh, South by Southwest earlier in the year, they came out with this new cream color. They're also coming out with uh, new speakers which will be released uh, later in the year, so stay tuned. This thing just has such an iconic look. It looks like the iconic Marshall amps. The sound quality is great. It's thin, it's portable. It has this little strap that you can kind of hook things onto on the back. It's just being kind of my go-to and obviously the music that comes out of this is way better than any sort of smartphone. Last but not least, shades, lip balm. Everyone kind of asked about them. They're technically part of an EDC that I rock since we are approaching that better weather just having a pair of shades. These ones are from Serengeti. Everyone's asked me about them uh, on like Insta and just dollar store chapstick to kind of keep the lips moisturized and clean. And like I said, all this stuff fits into that uh, one little bag. Bit of a tight squeeze, but uh, we managed to get it all in. So hope you guys enjoy this vid. Uh, hope you're enjoying the better weather wherever you are. I've got a ton of content coming. I'm actually heading to Italy, Marinello to uh, visit Ferrari's official HQ as my next trip. So this will come with me. If there's any content that you want me to capture there, let me know down below in the comments and I'll catch the rest of you in one of my next vids. Peace.